Hi guys, in this race here, I am trading uh, Bellows Town, and uh, you can see here uh, on the pre-race horse markets on Betfair that I'm trading on the favourite. And the favourite has been crashing in for quite some time. Now you can see there's only 40,000 match in the market, and you know, it's very, you know, nothing special here, uh, but... The favourite has to bounce off the second favourite and the third favourite. And you can see the second favourite and the third favourite are both fairly evenly priced. And the favourite only has 40% of the market, yet it's very, very short priced. So I'm going to go on the lay side here uh, with the intention of um, scalping out a few ticks as well. So I've got... Uh, 300, uh, I've got £400 in the market and I'm going to scalp out back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with another £400. Okay, so £400 in and £400 is being scalped. And you can see here the second favourite is, is about across the fours and the third one is at around the threes. So I'm quite comfortable scalping here because for the, if the favourite crashes in, what I'll do is I'm going to keep an eye on the second favourite and the third favourite uh, because in order for the favourite to come in, those two have to crash out, right? Because you can see the fourth and the fifth horse there, you know, the odds are like 50, 100, 200 to 1, so they don't, they don't matter, right? So uh, this is why I'm going on, on the lay side, because I know the favourite, in order for that to come in drastically, the second and the third have to go out as well, okay? Uh, so that, that's why even if the price does come in on the favourite, which it probably will do a little bit, right? Uh, I'm going to sit and hold, my, hold tight and I'll show you what happens here. So I'm just scalping in and out here all on the left-hand side. You can see both my scalps haven't taken. The last one is about to be taken here. And I'm keeping an eye on the backing situation here on the second and third favourites just to keep an eye on see what happens. You can see now my scalp at 2.56 is being taken on the favourite. Uh, the favourite probably will come out, come in a little bit more. I may have entered a bit too early in this market, but again, you know, that's that's totally fine. Um, and now with only £86 left here, I'm just going to see. Okay, that's been matched now. And you can see that there is money coming in now for the favourite. So the price is, looks like it might come in a little bit. But again, I'll hang tight because you can see the second favourite is, is going to cross the fours. And so that means that there's going to be an awful lot of pressure on the favourite. If it, if it comes in, right, and the a second one comes out, then there's going to be a lot of pressure here and needed to continue that. So I'm quite comfortable to wait and see what happens here. So I'm keeping an eye on the backing betting there on the favourite. You can see, okay, there, there is money coming in there. Uh, so this is uh, less than ideal, but we'll see how this pans out. Basically, my, my, my kind of thinking here is, if there's now more extended backing for the favourite, I'm going to keep an eye on the second favourite and the third favourite. Because if they don't react, then I know the price is going to bounce back up again on the favourite. Okay. But hopefully that won't happen. We'll see. <laughs> and um, and by, by the way, guys, please do subscribe to my channel uh, because if you subscribe, uh, YouTube uh, will analyze your profile and they will then suggest my video to others like you and in introduce them to uh, my channel. Okay, so I, I really would appreciate if you did subscribe and leave any comments you have as well. Okay, so there's not much happening here. We'll see. And uh, and yes, by the way, guys, I'm aware I'm hugely overstaking on the market because there's only £50,000 £50, matched, but that's okay for uh, for this instance. So you can see now the favourite is now getting more backing, but I'm looking at the second favourite and the third favourite. You can see they're not really moving or reacting. So the second favourite is coming in. Third favourite bounced out for a short period. So you can see nothing's really happening. Again, just you know, patience, right? Um, I won't add any more to the favourite just to avoid any huge losses here just, just in case it does come come in <clears throat> but like I said if or when the favourite does come down in price and goes into my red I'm not going to panic I'm simply going to sit and watch the second favourite and the third favourite because they're both so evenly priced it means that uh, the favourite has to push out both of them uh, in order to move down unless one just crashes out right um, so what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for where the, the sort of the back money is coming in. So I've got my eyes on the match bets. Uh, it does certainly look like there may be some more action here on the favourites to come down in price. Yep, there we go. Okay, so you can see a big spike there. But okay, so not right now, boom, I'm looking at the second favourite and the third favourite. What's happening there? So the favourites are crashing in, but the second favourite and the third favourite have not 
they've not really budged. And you can see now the second favorite is crashing back in again, right? And the third favorite has been drifting. We'll see. I'm going to give it five more seconds. If nothing's changed, I'll get out. Okay. So you can see now this third favorite is leveling off. Second favorite is bouncing back down past the four. Okay, so I'm fairly certain now the favorite's going to come back, back up again. Because you can see the third favorite now is crashing in. The second favorite is just stagnant at 4.2. It's not really moving. It's not rushing out. Boom, and the favorite is back up again. See that? Okay, so now that it's back coming in for the third favorite. And I'll start scalping out, out here now because there's only one, one minute left here. And you can see this. If you look at the second favorite, right, it's not drifting. It has drifted, but it's not continuing, right? You can see that? Is just, is just stalling at 4.2, and the favorite is coming out. That that's why I wasn't panicking. That's why, that's why I wasn't worried. Had the favorite been drifting, uh, the, the second favorite had been drifting out past the 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, but it didn't. It stalled there. Okay, uh, so that's why I didn't sort of panic because I could see that the favorite, ha if the favorite came in and came in and came in, and the two other horses didn't budge, right? That tells me it's going to bounce back up again. Okay, so that's why I didn't budge there. Um, and so oh, it's quite frustrating when it bounces back down like that's just before. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll, I'll try and make a reasonable exit here. I could probably have been a bit smoother in that exit, but you know, that's always the case, right? Trying to talk and try at the same time is quite difficult. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're loading up now. So I'll, I'll just um, exit this trade here. Okay, so uh, nine pound profit, you know, not not the smoothest, okay, you know, a bit erratic and uh, all that. But again, I'm, what I'm trying to show you here, I'm trying to show you how by staying calm and reading the market, you can sort of wait out those negative situations where you end up in red and you start panicking and so on. Okay. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope that, hopefully that was helpful. And any questions, let me know. Uh, please do subscribe. Uh, that really helps my channel grow. Um, and I really do appreciate your support. Okay. So thanks, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.